In this video, I will attempt to show you that limit as x approaches 0 of absolute value of x over x does not exist. It's non-existent. And how we can think about this is by breaking this function down. This is f of x is absolute value of x over x. What is going to happen to this function when x is positive? That is, x is greater than 0. When x is greater than 0, absolute value of x is going to be the same thing as x and x is going to stay the same, so it's going to come out to be x over x, or 1. When x is less than 0, absolute value of x is going to come out to be negative x, and you can think about this in various ways. Let x equal to negative 1, then absolute value of x is going to be absolute value of negative 1, which is going to be 1, and you see this is negative of x, or negative of negative 1. So if x is less than 0, absolute value of x is going to be negative x. So you're going to have negative x over x, which is going to come out to be negative 1. So it's going to be negative 1 when x is less than 0. Obviously, when x is 0, you're going to have 0 over 0. You're going to be dividing by 0, so it's going to be undefined. So how can you graph this? Well, when x is more than 0, it's going to be a 1. When x is 0, it's going to be undefined. So it's always going to be a 1 when x is positive, and when x is negative, it's always going to be negative 1. When you plug negative value into it, you're going to get negative 1. When you plug positive value into it, you're going to get positive 1. So you got this graph, and now let's think about what limit as x approaches 0 of absolute value over x is. Well, let's look at it from left, from left, from left of 0, from left of 0, as you're getting closer and closer to 0, it seems like f of 0 is going to be negative 1. So from left of 0, it seems like limit is negative 1. And now let's look at it from right of 0. As we're getting closer and closer to 0 from the right, 2, 1, 0 0.5, 0 0.1, it's going to seem like the limit is 1. It's going to seem like the limit is 1. And you see, as we are approaching it from the left, it's going to be negative 1. As we approach it from the right, it's going to be 1. If the, if the limit from the left and the limit from the right are not the same, if they are not equivalent, we are going to say the limit does not exist.